June because it's brown in June. Welcome to my amazing review today. So in today's, I'm going to cover, uh, show you guys right one of the tools that I use it on like a daily basis because of my Facebook Live. All right. So you guys, if bless you, probably know me. Today is like um August 2020. I've been doing Facebook Live on a daily basis for like 150 days straight. So I rely a lot on my Facebook Live where. That's where I actually built my audience. But right now, I'm I was facing an issue where one video that I'm producing, right? I felt like I should actually utilize one video to make sure that the same video apply, uh, 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 appears in all different platforms, all different social media platforms at the same time without me having to upload it. So I used to actually upload it one by one. So uh, at first, I I was actually trying this um software called StreamYard, but then the StreamYard free version did did not allow me to actually stream to multiple different portals. So in the end, I actually jump on this one stream, which I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how to use it, as well as why I actually pick one stream over other software out there, All right? So how I actually use um, one stream is uh, because um, you, if let's say you probably know me, I stream like on a daily basis. So these are the portals that I've been streaming to, to to my Facebook Live, right? Okay, so basically I'm setting up eight accounts. Okay, the plan I'm on right now is actually I can stream to 15 different uh, social media platforms, but I only utilize eight because I don't have like so many different social media platforms. So where do I stream myself to? I stream to two Facebook group. This one is uh, Facebook group number one, Facebook group number two, my page, my personal profile, uh, because I have extra social media platform, that's why I also applied for Twitch and Periscope, as well as my YouTube channel and Instagram Live as well. So the, the key of us having to stream to multiple platforms is to increase the reach of our videos, assuming that each platform have different kind of user base. If let's say you stream to as many portals as possible, it means that you're, you are going to get a lot more audience, you're going to get a lot more views. So initially when I done that, right, I only want to stream to my group and my profile and my YouTube. But after that, I felt like I have so many different platforms. So why not I increase? So right now, these are the platforms that I'm currently streaming to, which I think that the best that you should actually utilize definitely is the Instagram Live, uh, Facebook group as well, and Facebook page. Okay, so what I love about this is that everything's here, you just need to set up one time. So like me, when I was doing this setup, I just it's very easy to, easy to set up. It's very easy to authentic, authenticate. And then one thing you might need to know is that when you use this one stream to stream to Instagram Live, it's not actually using um, Instagram. Uh, it's not using one stream, but you need to configure it with another software. Uh, I think it's called, let me click on it. I think it's called InstaFit or something. Yeah. So you just need to follow the instructions uh, accordingly, which is available. Yes, so it's over here. And just to be mindful, um, yeah, so for this one, it's actually use this InstaFit. So InstaFit is another different software than OneStream where you need to like, I think they give a free version as well. So you can actually utilize their free version. If let's say you love it, you can actually opt for a paid version. Okay, so for the, for this streaming, right, not only you can stream to here, you can also, I think the other one that is very good, I think you can build your link in as well. I think there's a link in. Is there any link in? I remember there's a link in. Um, let me check. Okay, guys, I just confirmed with one stream. They said that uh, they do not support link in at the moment, but then they give three ways that we can actually live stream to pre-recorded version on LinkedIn as well. So this is the suggestion they give us. Like there are three methods. Like one is like uh, via link. Like uh, you just copy the stream link in the event notification of the link in. That's number one. And then the cat. Option number two is actually creating a LinkedIn event, which I think it's also another solution. And a method number three is via an article. So luckily, I actually check on this. Otherwise, I would actually have advised you guys wrongly. But then um, I do not personally use LinkedIn for this coaching business right now. That's why I don't stream to LinkedIn. So where do I stream myself to? It's uh, majority of would be Facebook as well as for the Instagram, as well as the group. Okay, the thing that I want to advise you guys is that when you set up your stream, when you set up the 
page and group. You have page, group, and profile. You can always schedule your uh, stream at a different time frame. So this is what I am doing. I want to make sure that my live streaming is having like a maximum reach, right? So if let's say profile, I stream the same video at night. So group, I will actually stream the same video in the morning and page will be in the afternoon. So this way, it's actually enable me to have like maximum reach because um, the live video that is being streamed to group, um, people in your group members, they will actually receive a notification that you're on live, okay? So this is very easy to set up. I would say that each account only take me less than five minutes to set up. It's not very hard. Okay, so one thing, uh, let us talk about the video. How do we actually schedule it? So this is my flow. Whenever all my videos are doing pre-recorded, you can actually record it in your mobile phone or you can actually pre-record it in using like a Zoom or Loom uh, in your laptop. So what I do is that I actually upload like a video. Uh, yeah, there's a maximum of five gig for the plans that I'm signing up. So once you upload it, then it will appear here right so what you need to do like let's say this is my past video actually this is my video that i done i done streaming in the morning right if let's say i want to like restream it so all i need to do is just to say use this video to schedule a new stream so i just click on it After I click on it, I can actually input title over here and also description over here. So the title is actually for me to uh, recognize what kind of video. Usually I put all the captions in the descriptions because this will actually appear as it is like, let's say, hey there. And then here I will put longer, hey there, this live video is about, what is that? So you just, this will actually appear in the caption in my Facebook as well. So text, I don't usually put it here. So you is actually optional. You can e even like tell the system when you want this to be streamed, okay? And then after that, you can have advanced settings. Like if let's say you want to have like event notification, you can always set up as well. Um, as well as here, all you need to do is just pick which channel that you want to stream to. Like for myself, I usually pick all and then click schedule and boom, it's all done. All I need to do is just to wait the video to, to be streamed at a specific time that is located here. Like let's say this uh, particular video I streamed it before, I just want to copy the captions of like the previous video, right? It's also very simple where we can actually click copy from previous descriptions, meaning the description from my previous videos, I just copy them so that I don't have to type everything myself, right? So yeah, just change the heading, the caption, okay? That's number one. And then another, another thing that I always use is the streaming history. From here, you can actually see what kind of schedule that I'm putting in the schedule because I done that video already. So one of the video I'm actually scheduling to be shown um, in my Facebook group tomorrow, okay? So the next one I always use is actually streaming history. Uh, streaming history, you can kind of like, it will show you what are the past videos that you stream to. Uh, it's very easy for you to have a check if let's say you want to, and also very easy for you to click restream. Like, let me give you an example. Like this one is streamed before, it will tell you what is the time, uh, what is who by stream stream by who, and then what's the group. If let's say you want to copy the stream again, you just need to click reschedule the stream, stream, and then you pick the channel that you want. So it's very, very, very easy. And then, okay, members, you can also add members to actually um, use this software together with you. So not only you, you can use that. And, I don't, I don't really check my streaming analytics, but it's cool that they have this streaming analytics that we can actually check uh, how many people actually check out our stream and at which portal. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Like you can even select like past uh, four weeks or past 12 weeks. I don't have much data because this is uh, like a brand new account that I'm using, right? Um, yes, then you can see total stream that I'm streaming and everything. So it's really, 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 really very cool. Um, I'm using it on a daily basis. I So how I actually structure my stream is that I use my um, phone to record a video. And after that, I use my phone to upload um, to one stream in my mobile phone. Okay, it is not an app, but I actually make it uh, go to the home. How to say? I use the web browser to go to one stream website and then I upload my file from my mobile phone. Does it make sense? Because I felt like this uh, process is much more easier. So 
um, of course, when I started using one stream, right, I did not sign on the highest package. So the package that I was signing up was, uh, let me see, let me let me show you guys. The package I was signing up was like a ten dollars package. Okay, so the ten dollars package only enable me to stream to 3Q. 3Q means that at right now, you can only schedule three stream and each video is 15 minutes maximum. That is when you actually sign up for the $10 um, basic plan. And then these are like uh, only 15 minutes camera recording and etc. and everything, right? However, um, I got like, I have so many different channels. That's why I decided to upgrade it. So after that, when I signed up $10, after that I upgraded to uh, become like $20 plan where I can stream to six portals. But I don't know, I'm just lucky or not. Suddenly they actually come up with this really to me, it's like a no brainer. If let's say you have been doing Facebook Live, right? This is really like no brainer deal. Let me tell you why. Right now they are coming up with this deal with the AppSumo where it's like a lifetime deal. So let me show you the pricing, right? Uh, it's over here. One time purchase of $59 you get to stream to one hour maximum per stream. Like I used to pay $20 to stream 15 minutes. Where is the proof? <laughs> I need to find a proof for you guys. <laughs> uh, where is it? Yeah, I think somewhere here. Yes. Yes, you guys can actually get, okay. Yeah. I used to pay $10 per month to stream 15 minutes maximum and 3Q. Right now, this AppSumo, they are doing this deal where one hour maximum 15 Q stream at a time, which is like no brainer, 25 social accounts connected, two team members, you can add your team members and unlimited live streaming, multicast to 40 plus, blah, blah, blah. You can actually see everything here. This wasn't available to me when I was like paying $20 per month. But then right now they are offering like one time purchase of $59. This is like a steal. Like, uh, if let's say I'm paying $20 per month, so by the, by the month of three, I actually exceed this money already, right? Does it make sense? So this is seriously no brainer. And of course, um, actually I have an affiliate link down below, which I, you can actually ask for me. I can actually give you, if let's say you buy this app sumo under my affiliate link using a brand new email that you haven't really purchased anything with AppSumo, it must be a brand new email must be under my affiliate link. And it must be like incognito browser, right? If let's say you buy under my link, I'm just going to give you one bonus. Like what bonus I'm giving, I'm going to give you this brand intro. Can you guys see my screen? This is a brand new, it should be together with like some effect that is really, really awesome. You guys should probably see this in the very beginning of my Facebook Live. I'm going to produce this brand, super cool brand intro for you for free as a free bonus when you sign under my affiliate link using a brand new account in AppSumo. So all you all need to do is just to give me your logo and your new website. I'm just going to produce this for you. And then how are you going to use that? Very simple. So since our videos are always pre-recorded, right? I always include a, like a brand intro in my Facebook Live. It can be like a brand intro or a brand outro. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking to show you guys that. Hold on, let me, let me look for it. <laughs> so this is like a steal, like do not waste this chance to actually uh, grab this deal because this is how I actually build up my YouTube channels, which I think that is really, 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 really awesome. I can't say that I, how much I love this app. Okay, so uh, let me get down to show you guys the brand intro. Then if let's say you're interested or you, if let's say you, have, you still have any questions that you want answer, feel free to reach out to me. You know my, um, uh, you can reach out to me at my messenger or my Facebook, okay? Like this is the example of my video, video where I include an intro and a follow by my Facebook Live. And as you can see, I actually stream live um, together using the one stream using, uh, that's how I actually build my YouTube channels. So if let's say you guys do have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. This is my Facebook. It's called facebook.com slash Story. You know where to look for me, or you can actually go to my website, www.junlo.co and then you can get access to me right away. As well, if let's say you want to know how you can actually get more clients and more sales with your, for your business, feel, feel free to actually check out my book. It's called Clang Magnet Machine. Um, and also you can also reach out to me and I look forward to see you guys tomorrow then. Take care. Bye.